I've been a side chick for five plus years. Yes, I'm serious. Come in here because I know I absolutely cannot discuss this with anyone in real life. But title says it all. I've been a side chick for over five years. I didn't know he had another girlfriend until about two and a half years into the relationship. Keep in mind, by this time, I was already so deep in love with this man and thought I'd marry him. Lost my V card to him and everything. We met when I was young and he was a bit older and the effect he had on me was insane. To cut a long story short, I was so in love with him already that I couldn't bear the full of being without him. So I stayed. F me, I know. She doesn't know about me, but I know about her. His excuse for this whole thing is that he needs to stay with her because he's getting a permanent visa via their relationship. And that once he gets it, he'll leave her and we'll be together. I know this is so stupid, but I literally love this man so much. I don't know how to leave, but I know I must leave. And I've been slowly building in the courage. It's especially hard because I have an insane level of chemistry with him. We're so compatible in every way, besides the fact that he has someone else. He helps me financially and emotionally, and I love being around him, and the sex is great. But I know this is an effed up situation and has to end, and I need to move on. He lives with her too. They are own a house and share a bed, but he claims they don't sleep together. I guess what's tipped me over the edge is that I just found out they adopted a dog together. We would always speak about adopting a husky together one day, but he's gone and done it with her behind my back. This relationship was doomed from the start and I know what I have to do. The thought of living my life without him is almost too painful to think about, but it can't be much worse than crying myself to sleep every night knowing he's in bed with another woman. And yes, I know I'm a home wrecker and an effing idiot and a loser, but what else is this sub for? I've read every response to this post and I want to thank you all. You're saying the things that I've said to myself a thousand times over. I know I am in the wrong, 100%. I didn't come here for sympathy. I came here for honesty and to have some internet strangers confirm what I already knew. I will be leaving him. I have used some of your words in the letter I've written to him. For some added context, if anyone cares, I experienced some pretty heavy duty trauma just before I found out I was the other woman. He was very much there for me and I now realise I probably trauma bonded with him. I was 17 when we met and he was in his early 20s. I don't want to call it grooming because it didn't feel like it but maybe I'm being ignorant. I guess the whole point of grooming is that you don't know it's happening. This is genuinely not an excuse but might help to understand why some people stay in situations where they absolutely have no business being in. And for those telling me to tell the other girlfriend, believe me, I want to. But I'm honestly kind of scared of him. Too much to explain here, but I don't doubt that he would make my life a living hell if I effed up his life and chance to stay in this country, or worse. Thank you all, the ones who are kind and the ones who are tough, for giving me the last bit of courage I needed to do this. Update. Firstly, I really need every one of you to know how much you've helped me. I'm not super into Reddit and had no idea how many amazing people were on here to give genuine, great and honest advice. You all really opened my eyes to the truth of this situation. I finally left him. I invited him around because we needed to talk. Now, before I get crucified for this, he has a key to my house. So effing dumb I know. So I needed to see him in person to retrieve it. 
Plus, that selfish part of me wanted to tell him in person just how much he's destroyed my self-worth and life in general. I wrote a letter to compose all my faults and included a lot of the points you guys made in my original post. He took it surprisingly well and actually cried, which I've never seen before. He was upset about my decision but agreed completely that it couldn't continue. He did apologise for his part in this and for the pain he's caused me by essentially wasting my time for years. He still stands by the visa story. Who knows if it's real, but at this point, there's nothing he could say to get me back. Perhaps it was just more emotional and manipulation, but I'll say he seemed sincere. I got my key and blocked him off everything and said we needed to go totally no contact. He obviously knows where I live and work, so I needed to be sure to end things somewhat amicably for safety reasons. Now, almost every single comment told me to tell the other girlfriend. Please understand that I absolutely do want to do that, but it's not always that simple. I mentioned this in a comment, but I am scared of what he may do in retaliation. I don't know if he's a violent person, but he's definitely unpredictable sometimes, and he would likely do his best to ruin my life any way he could if I exposed him. He also has sensitive media of me from my younger days, which I have asked him to delete. He claims he did, but I don't believe it, to be honest. Revenge adult media recently became a crime where I live, so if he tries it, I'll certainly go the legal route. I'll also be moving in a few months time and likely getting a different job, so I've kept all the evidence and plan to tell her when I'm in a safer position. I know I'm being a coward here, but I don't know what else to do. A bunch of you also told me to get STD checked because he probably has other side pieces. I naively never really thought of this, but I've booked the appointment. Let's hope he hasn't effed my life up even more. As a final note, I want to reiterate that I know that I was completely wrong in my actions. Once I found out about the other girlfriend, I know I should have walked away. Hopefully someone else can take this as a lesson to never mess around with an older man when you're a teen. He manipulated me to the point where I genuinely believed I couldn't live without him, even until now. I'm still scared of what the future looks like for me, but I will absolutely be getting some therapy. I hope I can come out on the other side of this as a better person, even with the limited hindsight I now have. I'm disgusted by how selfish I was, and I will never allow myself to make a mistake like this again. Thanks again, Reddit. So many of you shared such loving and kind words, and even the comments that were brutal. Y'all helped me to see myself clearly, and it was the wake-up call I so desperately needed onwards and upwards. So usually I would not be on this girl's side because we all know that cheaters are usually the lowest of the lows. But in this girl's defense, she was with him for two and a half years, which is a fairly long time to be in a relationship, especially when you're fairly young. So in her defense, she had already built a fairly tight bond with this person before finding out she was the other woman. As she mentioned in her comment, she had some trauma just after she found out. So him being there, she obviously needed someone. So I can kind of understand why she just carried on with the relationship. But this guy, he sounds like such a scumbag and a loser. He's staying with this other woman, apparently just because of visas, which I feel like that's just a BS excuse to give her. I just think this guy sounds like a complete loser and I agree that he probably is seeing multiple other people on the side 
So she is doing the right thing, getting rid of him. And also, why did she stay with this person if she's scared of him? I just don't understand that. Why would you be with someone that, one, he said he was using this woman just for a visa. Two, he can easily lie to this other woman and by the sounds of it, she has no idea that he's seeing other people. Three, she's scared of him. So he obviously isn't a very nice person. There's just so many reasons this woman should just chuck him to the curb, forget about him. And I really do hope that when she moves and finds a new job and gets away from that area, she tells this other woman because poor lady, she probably doesn't even realize who she's in a relationship with. But let me know what you think about OP's story and do you think she's a terrible person for carrying on the relationship for five plus years or can you understand her side and why she stayed with him? I'd love to hear all your comments down below and don't forget if you did like the video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you all very soon.